Now, some people are spending a lot of time on the dark web. On the dark web. And they say, I don't know, I've never been there. They say that this is where you can buy weapons. <laughs> this is where you can buy all kind of sex. And this is where they're doing just all kind. I don't know. What, if, this is what they say to me. I, I've never been there. <laughs> but it dawned on me, wait a minute. Well, you know, who, who do they say created the internet? It was Al Gore who said he invented the internet, but it was actually a military. The military. I thought it was the military. military right? yeah. well, <laughs> well, what I'm trying to get you to go to, you know, is somebody. Yeah. And I, I think, I think, his name is is a public name. I can't call it this minute. That's what I was trying to get you to call this guy's name, who's actually the one who created the uh, right. And he cre he had the all of the satellites available to him through the government. He may have not been a government official, but a government contractor. Mm -hmm. But he had all of the government. Uh, um, of satellites and other things that would that he could connect to he had that at his disposal mm -hmm. and so he then really was the creator and you can look his name up it's not a it's not a secret he's the creator of the internet he's the what creator what's his name Robert E. Khan Robert E. Like uh, e what <laughs> K-A-H-N. K-A-H-N. That's what I'm looking for. And he was a contractor, not a government uh, employee. But watch, but watch this right here. Robert E. Kahn is the creator. creator. Say it louder than that. Creator. creator. Robert E. Kahn is the creator of the entire internet. Now, now, now the, the entire internet has caused the world to become this much smaller place than it ever was because you can communicate instantaneously through the internet, internet that the creator. creator gave us but for some reason he only gave us the good, good. way <laughs> and we really are kind of like the public per se the public the public said the public. Public. public well if this is the public and he the creator gave us something good <laughs> wait a minute then he the the creator also created the dark uh, web and who did who did he get that to uh-oh uh -oh. private ah oh, that's good son this is private mm -hmm. say private private this is public this is private given by the creator for the entire world. world the one the part of it that we know the part of it that we know we're trying to use it for the good now we don't even some ways we don't flip the script and start talking about our family and you know <laughs> shaking our boot you know all these old kind of things <laughs> okay. that maybe don't necessarily need to be on the internet in the internet but creator here has given you a will to create and put on there whatever you want to put on there. Right. And if you say it's good, then it's good based on your perception or your perspective. Say my perspective. My you perspective. That's so good. Your, your perspective is how you see things. That's right. You, you, how you see things has everything to do with the people around you, people who saw it before you. Whew, that's good. Hey, T. Yes, sir. Your perspective is the way you see things. Say, my perspective. My perspective. Is the way I see things. Is the way I see things. And I see things. I see the, come on. And, and I, I see, see things the way the people who saw it before me saw it. The way the people, people who saw it before me saw it. Watch this now. So if if you believe that, 
then you will recognize many more that your son mm -hmm. is demonstrating a particular perspective, perspective, perspective. perspective that you're unhappy with. Uh -oh. right. And but he is he is doing things that he saw others do before him. Watch this carefully. And now he's already entertaining the system. He's he's experiencing the principal's office or expulsion or suspension and these other kind of system orientated things. I'm gonna go just a little bit deeper here. This is the cradle to the prison pipeline already shaping itself up and you want to talk him out of it, but you may not want to live the good side of the web in front of the public to change his perspective and the way he sees things. And he can't make a change because he's become a slave and imprisoned by what other people have shown him. It's all right. I don't hear nobody in this church. Right. And so, so watch this now. Watch this carefully. So, just like I was trying to show you over here, the shadow. This is really me. This is the shadow me. Uh -huh. See, and so your son right now, I'm just taking him as an example. I just want you to know I was listening to you. Your son is operating as a shadow. Mm. He hasn't developed himself well enough to be him. What's his name? What? Marnell. Parnell? Marnell. Mar with Marnell. M. Marnell. Marnell. You from down south? I don't remember what his name like that. Watch it. Marnell hasn't been alive. How old was he? Look, look, look. Marnell's only eight. So he really has an undeveloped perspective on anything. Right, right. However, he has been a. Slave. Slave. And in prison uh -huh. by what he saw from you. Don't be mad at me. Come on. Uh -huh. Don't be mad at me. And so consequently, he is finding himself at eight years old in the dark web. Wow. Preach. <laughs> watch, 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 watch. I'm just going to show you something. I'm just going to show you something. And look, I don't even know how to get to the dark web. Uh -huh. Watch this. Oh, don't be uh, mad. Don't be mad. That's all right. Bring it. I'm just trying to help you see something <coughs> so important. Yeah. Um, a little, little, uh, little James Jeffries, you know, lives over at the Pop House. I wish he would be here because um, I'm getting ready to blast him here. He this is love, this love, though. This is love, though. Well, sometime I come to the house, he playing his music so loud. Wow. And 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 sometimes if it's a, you know how if it's a nice song, he might let mm -hmm. it go. <laughs> but you know he they they talk about you know me I said tell that you know would you you know uh, you know that seemed like to me all that stuff came from the dark dark web. Web. <laughs> like from the dark web. And you bless me because because listen to what I'm saying to you I don't want to be victimized well, not, not a word they say by those words of death and darkness, yeah. uh -huh. but I want to live in the land of the living, in the light, in the good light. I want to live in it. Wow. Say live. Live. Yeah, I want to live in it, not exist as a shadow in spite of it. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. And so, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, let me. That maybe if that is twenty thousand foot level, let me bring it right down here on the level that you on. Can I do it? Uh -huh. I can't hear nobody. Come yeah. on. Oh, you want to hear it? Come yeah. On. Okay. Watch this. So now, then, here we are. Majority of us are are trying to work out our way out of the dark right. web. Well, what do we mean by that? Because over here, you know, we have a felony, and we have these. Uh, different kind of crimes and we have all these checks against us and all these strikes and say we can't and we sometimes we lack uh, education or we lack experience <laughs> right and on and on and on we don't have we don't know the right contacts see what's it so what so watch all of it all of these are strikes it would appear 
that would cause you to be stuck, John Vang, on, in the dark, dark web. web. Wait a minute, but I got news yeah. for them uh -huh. over there on the dark side. Right. Mm -hmm. That when you become conscious, That's it. watch this now. That's the key. Conscious is the word conscience. When you become conscious of what is taking place in front of you, then you can make a personal, empowered decision about whether or not this or this belong to you. Until that time, you will remain trapped in the prison of your own thinking that you have adopted from somebody else. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Make it plain. I'm just gonna tell. I'm just gonna tell about myself because, you know, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't want to. You know. But I, I remember. So when I was younger, I was. I told y'all all this before. I was raised by my grandparents, or older. Well, my mom. She was a hooker. My mom was beautiful. You know. I mean. I mean. My mom was drop dead gorgeous. Just striking woman and even as a son I, I could somehow see her outside of just being my mom and I just say man my mom is beautiful mm -hmm. but my mom was a hooker and so when I came up my mom I couldn't never I didn't never see her I didn't never see my mom I just wanted to see her face I just wanted to see her face and she would hug me just so and there was a way about her hugging me that made me know I was her and she was me wow, that's all right. But my mom was actually deciding for me in a good way that she did not want me to be a part of the dark, dark web. web. Mm. Uh-huh. I'm going to show you something, though. I'm going to show you something. Historically, my mom was born in the 30s. Times were different. The history was different than when I was came through. These guys had even far more limited choices right. about what they were going to do and not do, how to make ends meet were socially acceptable. Some of the hustling of activities of that day were seen as, as acceptable because life was so hard historically in that time, 30s and 40s, and they just couldn't you know, they just needed to scrape anything together, right? But I'm going to tell you now, even though my grandmother and grandfather were working, they were on the... Good way. They lived their life in the daytime in the... Public. I loved them, and I, and I was impacted by them, but what I lusted for was my mama. Mm -hmm. And my mama was in the... Dark way. Well. And so sometimes I would go and look right. for my mama. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, in some cases that I wouldn't find her, but I found some other people along the way mm -hmm. that, baby, that began to influence me yeah. and people who began to say, ain't you, you know, I know who you are. You so-and-so, you such-and-such. And they started to give me a name yes. that was synonymous with the dark web, not my real name, right. who I am right, right. now. Yes. Brother Shane Martin uh -huh. Price uh -huh. is addressing you on today. Yes. Uh, wait, uh -huh. wait, 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 I'm gonna tell you something else. Don't be mad, mm -hmm. I'm a bad man. Oh, and yeah. I'll tell you something else. I had to shake all of this so John Bang could stand up and get to 10,000 just the other day. I'm telling you, wait a minute, just the, wait a minute, I'm just telling you right now, wait a minute, I sat there in front of him, the sharpest Negro in the pit, uh -oh. and I sat there in front of him, my son, and I watched them give him $10,000. Yes. And, I, and I'm telling you now, hey, you know what? Y'all should be clapping louder than that for $10,000. Yeah. You can't be up here be mad if you can't be looked up here and said, if I can't identify this information correctly, I will be doomed to a life of slavery and imprisonment in the dark web.
Mm. I'm telling you now, I spent a good 20 some years in there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Looking initially for my mama, but ultimately for myself. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, watch, watch this carefully now. And I'm telling you now, <coughs> until you grapple with this well enough to discover your true self, it makes getting rid of drugs and alcohol so much more uh, so much more difficult because you're only looking for sobriety. Mm -hmm. But what That's I'm right. telling you is so much more powerful right. than sobriety. Right. Sobriety can't stand up against what I'm telling you you're looking for. Uh -huh. so, sobriety can't match it. Sobriety would be only an adjective to a much more That's powerful good, sentence and a statement yes. that expresses a fact about who you really are, who you really are, and uh -huh. what you're supposed to really be doing, and that you really don't have no business over here on the dark side. That's it. That's it. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Come with one day didn't have no idea I was going to do this, but me and Darius was going to meet Will over at Will's job site. You know, I, have, I, I didn't know what to really expect. I hadn't seen his work in a while, you know, and I had been, you know, kind of secretly fussing with Will about going back to college because he's, so, he's a smart man. And I know that. And you know what? I went over to his work site. And Will, he gave me a hard hat, me and, and Derry. <laughs> and he took me through this house that they had completely gutted. I mean, completely gutted. Took out cement, there wasn't no floors, nothing. Took out everything and rebuilt the whole house. And the house was banging. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I realized, I looked at Will and I said, man, <laughs> look what God done did. Wow. What, what has come out of him? Wait a minute. Liberated from the dark dark web. Web. Wait a minute. Made a conscious decision uh -huh. to go in here and sift through the, the negative information. Right. All the people in the penitentiary were saying, uh, you're, you're never getting out. Uh, you know, he's, he's related to you, so he can't come home. Right. You can't do this. You can't that. You're going to never get out of the penitentiary. And here I'm standing in a house that he done built up inside the guts. All that was left was the hall. They built the whole house. And I'm thinking to myself, look at this. As you stood before the group at St. Paul College, and you standing where you standing, and Jory, you're doing what you're doing. And and you hear John McNair saying what John McNair is saying, not being defeated by the slavery or the imprisonment of what somebody else said was you. That's right. Y'all don't hear me here. Mm -hmm. You have to make up your own mind mm -hmm. about who you are. Wait a minute. Well, I'm going to go one more deep. Can I, can I go? All right. All right. Watch I'm, out almost now. Done. I'm almost done. You can't let or be satisfied with your woman or your wife defining who you are. Mm -hmm. Because quite often, your woman or wife will have got with you or married you for what she saw in you for later, not just for what you presented on that day. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, your helpmate can see something in you that you fail to observe on your own. Mm -hmm. And in the context of that failure, sometimes we get too comfortable with what she thought she saw, and we become lazy and lethargic about what we're doing, ends up she's doing all the work, she's paying all the bills, she's taking all the responsibility, and you don't realize the very thing that you love will have to propel itself away from you. I'm trying to help you now. It'll, it'll propel itself away from you, not because it doesn't love you, but because it finally realized the dreamer is never going to wake up and do anything that he dreamed about. I'm telling you now. I'm got, now, if you, now you, it's all right to have a dream, but you can't stay in the dream state forever. At some point, you got to wake up and get busy with that stuff. Uh -huh. If you do that, she will help 
you. Mm. She will stand with you. Others will come around you. Mm. Others will begin to support you. That's mm. why they stood up for you at the job site. Yeah. But if you stay in dream state too long, mm. you become lethargic. Mm. You accept your role as a slave. slave. You are operating inside of the prison of your own mind. Mm. And the dream is the best we're going to get out of here. Mm. Somebody say church. 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 <laughs> I'm going to show you something. They say, well, yeah, we, this is the, the prison. They say, we just, we just, we don't give you all of the, yeah. uh, uh, of the uh, guys with mental health issues. Right. Mm. We're going to give you the guys with uh, no education. Yeah. We're going to give you the guys that are high risk. Right. That's what we're going to give you. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what we think of you. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what? Uh -huh. some, of the, some of them is in the room right now. Uh -huh. yeah. There's some of them in here right now. Mm -hmm. And some of us, look, somebody's getting paid up in here. <laughs> yeah, somebody's in the room right now. And somebody's getting their thing on right now in spite of all them checks they had. Uh -huh. I say, you know what? You don't really know who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. Right? You, you're talking that imprisonment mentality, that slave-minded stuff, yeah. but you're not talking to me a free man. Yeah, you know why you ain't clapping? Because it's hard for you to talk freedom talk. You're afraid to talk freedom talk. You've been a slave so long, it's hard for you to talk like a free man. It's hard for you to speak up like a free man. It's hard for you to acknowledge what it means to be free. It's a responsibility. It's a responsibility. Responsibility. And I have accepted my responsibility to live free on my behalf and stand in the gap for you. <laughs> I, I, you know, come on. Right. And the same thing that's in me right. is in you. Come on, mm -hmm. And all I'm up here trying to do right. is wake that thing up. Uh huh. Yeah. Come on, catch fire. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on, Come on, man. Come on, Manny. Come on now. Come on, Charles. Come on. Woo! Come on. Like woo! Like that, baby. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. All of a sudden. Bam! We got a plane. And this place says blazing in here. I don't hear nobody it's blazing in here. Right on, man. So true. You got to catch fire. You got to catch fire and then come out with it. Mm. Be who you say you're going to be. Mm. That's, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Having said that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stop right there. Watch this. Don't just live in the shadow. That's right. The shadow of yourself. That's my hand, but it couldn't appear there unless I did it. But this okay. right here was the guy from over here. That's okay. But this guy, what you see right now. This is the guy I pulled out of here. Right. Without my mom or anybody else I said I was looking for, Slick Rick and all them other kind of <laughs> folks that was up in there making it look good, right? But at the end of the day, you got to go in there and pull that thing out for yourself. To do that, you got to utilize your manpower. Somebody here say manpower. Man -power. Man -power. Oh, that ain't loud enough. You scared. You're afraid to say it. You're afraid to say it. Look here. Yeah. You got to reach down in the well and use your manpower and pull it all the way out of there. Somebody say manpower. Manpower. Man we got some women in here too, and have been victimized and traumatized and and abused and unloved. But you know what? You have to go down in there. And pull out with all your woman power, your good good way. Way. and come on out of the dark way. Even if that Negro got you over there, you gonna have to drop him like he's hot. I'm just telling you, the, I'm just telling you the truth. And I don't hear nobody in here. Watch this carefully, because if you don't do it. He won't be motivated to get anything done on his own. At some point, you got to cut the umbilical cord and stop feeding him baby food. You can't live on water alone. Sometimes you got to have some meat. You have to cut that thing loose and get the meat of this situation for yourself. And if you don't act like love, if you don't represent love, if you don't 
sound like love, mm -hmm. then don't expect me to give it to you because mm -hmm. unless you are telling me your standard, unless you are setting the bar high for me, then I'm going to come sliding in there with my Good yeah, well. and my dark well and steal your joy mm -hmm. and steal your thunder, give your babies and leave you for somebody else. I'm just telling you the truth in here. I'm just telling you the truth in here. Say I am. I am. Somebody. Somebody. I don't care what they said about I don't care John McNeil. I don't care about none of that stuff. I know you a genius. I know what's inside of you. I've been messing with your brain for the last eight years. I know what's in there. And just a minute, you will keep knocking on the door. And a minute, like John Vang, like Will and everybody else, somebody's going to open up that door. Then you walk through that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right. They're gonna say, ooh. They're gonna say, ooh. That boy's from the good way. Any more like you? <laughs> that's what I want you to say. When you hear when you hear him break down and confess who you really are, that's what I want you to say. Pop guy! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One, two, oh, three. One, two, three. Pop guy! Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. I had enough of y'all. But I just <laughs>